It's December 1st, 2018. I'm Justin Costelli. This is Roman Costelli. And this is Leo Costelli. And we are here to give you your weekly mixtape and your weekend review video. Silas is here as well. I got the whole gang uh, back from a little hiatus because of the Thanksgiving Day holiday. Decided to take last Saturday and make it a family day and not do one of these weekend reviews. So we've got um, a decent amount of things to cover real quick. Roman's going to help me. Uh, but first off, we're going to start off last night as I was preparing for today's video, going through the headlines. Uh, came across on Twitter and the alerts that uh, President H. Bush passed away. Uh, so I have to acknowledge that um, as well as I'm sure everybody knows that by now, but couldn't go through the weekend review and not mention that as the leading headline um, as far as what's going on. Uh, Roman, can you tell me what is the first thing up on our list? G20. The G20. Do you know what that is? No. Leo, do you know what the G20 is? Yep. What is it? No, you don't know. I like that you tried. So uh, the G20 is currently going on, and the big thing around this is uh, President Bush and China are supposed to be having a conversation to see about all the tariffs and see if there's some things that can come out of this that will be a positive for uh, our economy and the markets. So uh, we'll be seeing just what happens. Uh, I believe I saw today that the meeting or the press conference um, afterwards has been canceled by President Trump due to President Bush's uh, passing. Don't really know what that has to do with it, but um, we'll see. What'd you say? I said President Bush. Yeah, he passed away. A Bush. Uh, so we'll see what comes out of the G20 if things get better. I know that the market and Wall Street is hoping to see something coming about as far as an agreement between or just some positive news moving forward. Um, don't know for sure, but uh, it would be re easy to uh, believe that some of the recent market turbulation is tied to uh, the, the, the going back and forth between the U.S. and China. It has been all year. So we'll see if anything comes out of that. Roman, what's next? Um, Federal Reserve. All right, so the Fed chair came out with some comments this week that the market liked. Uh, we've talked about the Federal Reserve and what their goals are and what they're doing all year long. Uh, they came out and it seems as if they're going to continue to raise rates in February. That was kind of the tone of the com or sorry, not February, December. That was kind of the tone of the comments. And then next year, it sounds like they might be pumping the brakes a little bit and waiting to see. Uh, they said that the rates are kind of neutral where they need to be, not to necessarily promote growth or not to necessarily slow growth, but kind of where they need to be. So um, expectation is, and which I'm kind of glad to see, that December will probably have a rate hike, and then we will see how next year goes. Sorry that the Federal Reserve is a little boring for you, bud. Uh, we'll pick it up and make it a little more entertaining as we go on. So we'll see where that goes. But at the end of the day, I think that we've known December is going to happen. And I think it's okay, given the market's response as of late to interest rates rising, to wait and see how things are going next year, because there have been some signs showing that the economy might be slowing some. And there's plenty of other things going on globally with Europe and China and other areas that I think going into the new year with a little bit of pause and waiting and seeing is not necessarily a bad thing. What's next, bud? Um, oil. Oil. We talked about oil a couple weeks ago and the price falling. It fell below $50 a barrel uh, this week. So not a huge deal. We'll see what kind of impact that has. There's a big part of the U.S. economy that's tied to oil, so obviously that impacts it. We had oil below 50 a few years ago, and that kind of uh, slowed some areas of the economy down. We'll wait and see, but as I mentioned in the last video where we talked about this, not necessarily a bad time for uh, prices at the pump to be going down with the spending going on right now with the holidays. So um, it's almost like a little mini tax cut as we see oil prices going down and gasoline prices going down that we have a little bit more to spend at these stores. So we're losing Silas, but that's okay because we're almost done. Uh, Roman, what do we have next? Housing prices. Housing prices. So housing prices slowed for the sixth month in a row, uh, showing that maybe the housing market is cooling off. Now, I'm not a housing expert, but I also wonder how much of that might be tied to, one, the time of the year. You know, this is not the type of year, time of the year where a lot of buying and selling goes on. Uh, but I think the other obvious reason is interest rates going up, is slowing down people buying, or what they're able to afford. Uh, you know, a 3% interest rate versus a 5% interest rate, your mortgage payment will be more for the same house just because of the higher interest rate. So that could be having an impact on it as well. People with interest rates going up, maybe not being able to afford or wanting to afford as much house. So uh, no cause for concern, just something to, to be aware of. If you're trying to sell a home, you're probably aware of this yourself. And I'm sure that this is probably regional. There are still some areas that might be booming and other areas that may be struggling more. But there were notes that came out. Um, and then the final one, Rome. Consumer spending. Consumer spending is up. So go, going into the fourth quarter, we are spending more money. It ticked up 0.6%. Uh, which was the highest for a little while. So we're spending money, which is a good sign for the economy. And then uh, in this article that you'll see with the Wall Street Journal, 
it mentioned that inflation was up 1.8% year over year. So at that 2%, just below that 2% target that the Fed, we talked about earlier, uh, is looking for. So um, inflation as measured by the government is at 1.8%. Uh, it came down from 1.9%. So uh, that's just kind of a number that's there as well. So that's everything we have in the news. I just wanted to point out one thing. In the mixtape, you're going to see an article from the New York Times uh, about annuity sales and, and dinners. It's a very, uh, very important article. I think this is something that goes on a lot. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to actually be writing a post about this. Not so much about the product, more about the process. So be sure if you are in, if you are the age where you're getting invites to quote unquote free dinners, uh, steak dinners, and nice steak houses for a pitch for some type of product. Just be aware, um, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Go into it educated. Don't get um, duped into something that may not be a good fit for you. Uh, but check that article out. I'm going to be writing a blog post about it with my thoughts on it as well. So be, be sure to check that. And then finally, going into the last uh, month of the year, just want to do a reminder. I'm going to try to do this every week. Don't forget to make your 529 contributions. Uh, be sure to do your benefit enrollments if that period is still there. Uh, and also, don't forget your RMDs for this year. Big penalties with those. So a little bit of financial planning reminders. We'll do that each week. I'm losing Silas, so I'm going to let him roll around. Leo, you got anything to say at the end of this video? How about have a good weekend? Nope, you're going to be shy on me. Roman, you got anything? Uh, I have a joke. You have a joke? You're American when you're out of the bathroom. What are you when you are in the bathroom? I can't believe you're doing this on my video. What are you, Roman? European. All right, so there's your there's your comedy for the day. I'm going to keep that in here. Be sure to check the mixtape articles below, and Leo has one quick thing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock. knock who's there? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Um, orange. Aren't you glad I said orange? Yes, I am. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? I'm very glad. All right, guys. Thanks for the comedy relief. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient with these guys as they get their jokes out. Be sure to check all the mixtape articles below. Subscribe to the podcast, to the blog. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Justin Castelli. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in next week's episode.